What's up everyone, Ryan here and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K23 Career Mode Series video and today it is time for the final round of the Week 7 Tournament, the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pine South and what a great first round it was for Ryan Gamer. Right now, we are sitting 8 under par, 1 off the leader, Justin Lower, who's sitting 9 under par. So it's going to be a battle here in the final round. We realistically have to shoot probably 9 or 10 under to win this tournament. We know we can do it. We just got to go out there and do it. So I need all of your all's one times, all the positive, encouraging comments, and all the hype. Let's win the Farmers Insurance Open here at Torrey Pine South today. You all are all legends. Thank you so much for all the support here on this series and across all of the videos on the channel. Ryan Gamer is a multi-sport athlete. You can tune into his other sporting endeavors as well. Get some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more, and check the playlist in the description if you're looking for more videos. Today's the day. I'm feeling good. A couple great comes comebacks in the recent tournaments. Last week, we barely fell short, but I really think we can go out there and win this tournament. You're going to be a, see a focused gamer today. I'm ready. Cheers, everybody. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elby and Rich Beam here bring you all the action of the final round. And Rich, I love these days. Championships are decided. Has this player got it in them to pull out the win? Right now, he has not got the victory secured, but a good final round here could see him into the winner's circle. Exactly. Can't wait to see how today's play plays out. Time to get to the action. One of the most intimidating tee shots for me for an opening tee shot. Not a lot of danger as far as out of bounds, but you missed the fairway, you're in trouble here. 451 yards start. Let's get the nervous jitters out with the practice swing. And that was my last drink of coffee as well. I've drank so much coffee today. It was an espresso, so I just finished up an espresso. So I should have that energy at the beginning of the round, but probably shouldn't drink any more caffeine. Should stick to water. <laughs> drink some extra for me. Go. Oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. Because my thinking was, in the career mode series last week, in the comebacks last week and the week before, we drank coffee and it, the espresso Around didn't kick in until later. Yards, so what if I yeah. finish it before? Wind is blowing left to right, going to try and hold it against the wind. 118 yards. I actually love this sand wedge slide over power with this cross tailwind. Very favorable wind to win this tournament. Six miles per hour. Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Beautiful. Well, that's a lovely And he didn't agree with it, I don't think. Opportunity here at the first. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Yeah, this is a perfect start to the day. We have a very straight, almost straight, birdie chance here. I don't see a lot of Rolling straight putts on this course. End. This putts Let's go. Great. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass. Oh, that, that feels I've really never good. I've been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke. I can tell you that. He's currently in a share of top spot. Nine under. Let's go. And some of you all said Ryan needs new clothes. Well, you're not wrong, but he loves his home gear. Time Players championship. And you're playing great this season. I don't want to change it up. And honestly, I don't have I don't have any other clothes that I want to change this outfit for, to be honest. There's no like I, I just don't have any of the cool stuff here. So 366 yards. Isn't it? On PC I have some of the cooler outfits, but this career mode series is on the Xbox. Look at that bounce. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nicely done. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. And send this in. I never change outfits on my PC on my PC save either though. <laughs> Some of you are like Ryan. Ryan's wore the same thing in every course showcase video since he got the players championship outfit. Oh. 
You love the players. Go. See sawgrass. That's where it's at. Great swing. Is it going to too much, though? Yeah, just a bit off. Good shot. Pretty good shot there. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Might have been a break right, guys, here. This for two birdies in a row. Two birdies in a row here to start the final round of the Farmer's Insurance Open. A little 11 footer. Oh, <laughs> just barely. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back to back. Don't birdies. cut that that close, like Ryan. It. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Who called in the birdie train? Which one of you all was it? Cheers, See, everybody. Drink some coffee for, for me. Okay, hey, Justin gets a birdie, 11 under for two. We're, we're Wait, off here at the third they hole. eagled. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful. It just can eagled be that? extremely painful to play. Downhill all the way. When they tuck the pin over on the left-hand side, forget about it. Never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking I'm going that for aim. It, Rich. Other than that, center of the green all day long. Rich, you ready for an ace? But yeah, he just eagled that. He, we were both tied at nine, right, after hole one. Then he eagled hole number two. Looks to be going with the six iron. And then come back. Come back, ball. Wow, they really put on a show there. with that approach shot. And their rival, Xander Shoffley, appears to be taking notice as well. Did Xander make the cut? I know it was... He didn't play very well. Nine feet, downhill three, steady right to left. It's on a good line. Not going to say a well word. Done. Take the birdie. Luke, I don't know if you know this or not, but nothing rolls like a ball. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Tied for the lead. I know I don't need to be playing against the opponents. Like, you, you all have told me that plenty of times. Just play your game, right? Xander Shoffley did make Very the cut. Very picturesque, Ted. this fourth hole. Pacific Ocean directly to the golfer's left-hand side. Don't be sucked in the, by the views. However, you'd want no part of that. And you certainly don't want any part of that fairway bunker down the right-hand side either. Find the fairway, and you've got a good chance at knocking it on this green in two. Be wary, though. Anything long and left on this green is no good. Well, that won't happen today, Another Rich. Another birdie opportunity coming up for this player. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Uphill seven feet. Looking at the eight iron. A little bit of loft and backspin. Do not want to land this right or left. Basically, I want to put this up on that little plateau. I don't know if plateau is the right word for it, but. And choosing the eight iron here. Hoping for a bounce here. That's it. Preferably That's it. To the left. Exactly what I wanted to do. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Gotta like their chances from there. 12 Good footer. Here. Downhill two inches. Steady left to right. One time. Like I hit it too hard. I did. Okay. Steady now. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Can't complain. We started the day with the birdie train. That was three birdies. It starts off on a good line. And a par. The now has a one well, stroke advantage. Justin gets 12 under. He's playing insane. What is that? That's four under on the day for Justin. This hole is a right? No, three under. And it's a pretty lengthy one at that. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get, get too lucky. overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back toward you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left side. We got lucky, side. all right. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. 116 downhill for Ryan's mind lately. A lot of it's been going to try to lead the Seattle Seahawks to the playoffs and then, of course, the Super Bowl. That series has been so much fun. He's been playing really well. He's on pace to win league MVP rookie season. Put this one. Yeah, I was feeling nervous, so I practiced swing. They've decided to club up. So I pulled it, but I slowed it. They canceled each other out. Not on purpose, but we'll take it. This is beautiful to watch. 
It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Nine feet A downhill lights. too. I break you on the short putt. Rushed it again. Ooh, right by the hole. A good opportunity here. Just six feet to the hole. This is important. Big par putt here. Ryan, do you want to win or do you want to lose? Yeah, this is looking nice. We should That's have five birdies. That's a par in the end after five. such a terrific shot in. Opportunity lost and one they needed to take advantage of, sitting just two back of the lead. Wow. I should have five. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. All right, we're down one. Matt Wallace is making a push. And look at Tiger Woods, who won last week's tournament barely. Beat Ryan Gammer by one stroke. Here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. Send it. It's a nice reprieve, this par five. Just a little bit dog leg from left to right. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left-hand side. And almost every player will give it a go in two. This is a three-tiered green with a low area over on the left-hand side that sees a lot of action. Playing par five that we can eagle. Yards. 230. Shot off the lead. I'm going hybrid overpowered. A 224 carry into an eight mile an hour cross headwind though. I don't know. This might not get there, but with the right overpower it will. The partial three wood is going to be almost impossible. I think it's really our only option. Looks to be going with a hybrid That's here. That's the shot. Should find the green here. A golf shot. Yeah, that'll play. Do you want to win or do you want to lose? Well, Ryan answered that question, didn't he? Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Always yeah, like the aggressive play. Welcome to Torrey Pines. Going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Welcome to Torrey Pines. What a putt. Yes! Putt Eagle! Putt Get in Eagle. there! And Look at this. First six holes. That's five under through six. Three Leading birdies and an eagle. After that hole. Ryan takes the outright lead 13 under to 12 under to 12 under. But we are playing with Justin Lower today. Deep into the front nine. Here we are. That at puts the, the pressure on him. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the canyons come into play. One thing that's really helped with my swing lately is I'm mostly playing on Xbox like now. That, didn't you? So I'm playing on Xbox is, for here? My, well, by my most of every time I play this besides for showcases. Here? As in core showcases, I can't fly. I can't do flyovers on Xbox. It's because PC on this game. I've been having a lot of stutters and problems with it. It's the stutters and stuff. You, if you all watch, you'll notice the stutters when I play on PC. It's the last update they did a couple months ago that caused that. Xbox runs great for me, and it was throwing me off, like playing PC, playing Xbox. So now playing more Xbox has really helped me. Put this close. This one looks to be on That's a pretty right good line. It. Beautiful. And in definite range for birdie. What? All right. That's a golf shot right there. What does Doc always say? She always says, act like you've been there before, right? No. Best caddy in the business, so we got to listen to her. Big birdie. Yeah, that's their fourth birdie of the day. Are you and all drinking a lot of coffee? After whatever you're hole, drinking? Keep it going. I'd be way too amped be proud of themselves, if I was drinking coffee. Early. I'm already amped from the espresso before, but 170 uphill, 21 feet into the wind. Love this club. Part five. This part three is always tough for me, but game just runs so much better for me on the Xbox Series X than. PC. But it has to be an optimization thing for my PC or something. Going with the six iron here. Fasted it. Oh, 
coming back down, which is nice. We're still going to have a very difficult putt, though. That's inside the house of opportunity. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. B1 Trying to get feed. to 15 under now with this opportunity. Downhill this three. for back-to-back -back birdies. Get another, to get a, another, a little bit more cushion here on the lead. Ouch, that hurts. Yeah, a bit read it just a bit too far Didn't out, but quite have the right stuff there. Rather miss high side than low side. Oh, that's a clutch par. That Wallace he finds himself in a share of the lead. Ties Ryan Gamer at 14 under. Justin is right there, one stroke back. Oh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. I think the challenging part about it is it's just this. straight away. You have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and a straight third shot to find the green in three. It really oh, Rich. is just that we simple did it. and straightforward. The green does have two tiers on it, but for the most part, Luke, it's an inviting third shot. It's always a tough hole for me. It's it's long par three. I mean, par no three. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Long par five. Two wins so far this season. I'm going to do loft and backspin slightly. And we're going to try to overhit this driver. Going to come off to the right. The wind's going to push it to the right as well. Interesting choice of the driver here. I felt that one. <laughs> Look at the swing plane. I, I could feel it. I'm like, oh, this is not good. Penny, how bad is this lie? Oh, some smiles here. A bit of luck in the second cut. It's sitting nicely. <laughs> it is a good lie. 79 to 88%. I think a full sand wedge. Land it short. Roll it up. Got or send it on a 107. Here. That yeah, was this not isn't intentional. Good. But it worked out. Yeah, that was tricky with that wind. Great shot there. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. 10 footer, downhill two inches, steady right to left. Oh, Cut. yeah, this Cut. is tracking nicely. Yes. Well played. Look at that front nine. Do you want to win or do you want to lose? Wow. That's well, insane. This is where the knees start to knock. The sweat Stoke starts lead. to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Two stroke yeah, lead no on our playing partner. About that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. And then you have Matt Wallace, who's one stroke back at 14 under. Pete, the tournaments this season have been epic. Like these final rounds have been fantastic. A little too nerve-wracking, though. They get the heart rate going a bit too much. But I bet it's hey, it's fun to play, and I bet it's fun to watch as well. Where did that come from? That's not his style. That's not Penny, my style. What have they got in front of them Luke? here? Set it that up here from about 150 yards. What have you been watching in Ryan Gamer's career, Luke? 75 to 83% line. I'm going to go up to the 5-iron, the loft and backspin. Bounce left. Bounce left, please. That's not bad. And here we are with the third shot. I'm putting this. In the lead by a shot. Got to. Left to right at the beginning and then back the other way. This is very makeable. That was a gallant attempt. I thought that middle one is going to break more. I, I missed that by a mile. Pretty Look at the swing here. plane. So Wing plane was pulled a mile, so I just misread it. This one's looking good. Nice little putt to hold that one. Eight holes remaining. We can't lose steam. We have to keep sending it. Currently 15 under par. For that Wallace event. tied us 15 under to 15. You talk about a shootout here at Torrey Pine South. Teeing off here at the 11th. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just That's not a lot tiny. of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it fancy still here. is Bend very short, small. A massive shelf. Top left, if you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green. Two putt, make three, move on.
Getting fancy. This one Landed looks to be short. The green. Beautiful. I wasn't getting fancy. I thought it was going to land in the fairway, which would have been better, actually. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Great shot. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? It's 13 feet out. Unlucky for some. This is what they have left for birdie here. Lucky for some. Oh, number 13. See what you do. Oh, so close. I First, had a feeling as soon as I race. hit that part, I'm like, this is, I read too much. I read too much break. And with that, he's now broken the tie. All Choke alone lead, the though, still. Matt, well, we moved up. Matt Wallace with the bogey. Justin right there. 15 under to 14 under. Always and then the Russell Hindley at 10. Game, a long par four. This it. is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet. Prevailing wind coming right back Good into rhythm. the players. You just have to step up and hit a solid tee shot to find the fairway from there. You're going in with a mid to long iron, sometimes or, even a hybrid to a green that sits just a gap above wedge. you. Not a ton of movement, but enough from back right to front left to make you think. We sent that ball. So I'm going to do a... a a little bit of backspin here, right stick, and then a little bit of D loft. Let this pitching wedge go. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's perfect. Gonna hop and then stop. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Luke wants Try you all to, to take to notes. Did you all write that down? Part. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. I'll write that down. Make this, gotta make this steady right to left here on this nine footer. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. I can't believe that drop. But that's when you just, they thank you to the hole and He's move on. sitting in first place. Justin with the birdie, Ryan with the birdie as well. 16 under to 15 under to 14 under. What a tournament. This hole is one of the longest par fives on the course. This is I'm aiming one of to the, the most right here. interesting par fives you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. We just got to put this shot in the fairway. This could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. Have you all ever seen us hit the ball this well? It's what we've been doing this season. This has been insane. No, well, there's been a few outliers, but well, all in all, we're playing great. Of whether they'll need one more club playing to Sometimes you're just green. in a rhythm, and I am going to go up a club. We're going to go gap wedge pitch shot. Keep it a little bit low. Let it hit and stop up the slope. Beautiful. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. When you have confidence, it changes everything. Like, really. Steady right to left. When you have confidence in your swing, it changes everything. Get excited. This could go in. What oh, is happening? Today, Come on. His lead, hole after hole. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. This Energy tournament is the best I've ever played at Tory Pines. After that effort. So they're playing great, but so are we. 17 under to 15 under. Matt Wallace and Justin Next both tied there. Next up is this par four hole. Could not be more perfect. Thank you, Henny. Could not be could not be more perfect. Who is we? Henny did say we Ryan Gamer was her hero, so he's a big fan. Second shot here on the 14th. I go sand wedge pitch in this wind. Should be a great club. A little bit of stopping action, just a bit. I, this is the best we've ever played. That's I really well think played. it is. Pin high, and they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. It's the best we've played. Oh, what a super shot! Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. 18 under. 
You want to win or do you want to lose, YouTube? Well, always positive coming off a birdie. Let's Ryan see said he wanted to here. win. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out First there. miss, this I think, this whole round. possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. Yeah, we're going to have to send this low, and I don't even think we get this that close. Opting for the three wood. Actually... Hold that thought. That is a, that's an amazing golf shot. Yeah, it's not it's up there, that but. Wasn't their best shot. Now coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Chip this in. No, oh, that's a really bad slow. Underswing as well. Come and on, Ryan. Part of it's been a mistake-free round. Don't lose it now. No lead is safe against the AI. They can shoot eagles. They can shoot three eagles in a row. 12 feet uphill, two inches. Steady right to left. Good putt, that. Barely hung on there. Margin of a lead out there. Let's see if they can calm their nerves and get Magnets this done. Magnets engaged on that one. Now, That's when Doc, after that one. the caddy, three she just goes up there work. and puts the magnets this in the cup. Awfully fun. Wait, who should, okay, 1,800 to 1,600. Dang Justin Lowers is right the there. Hole. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but yeah. it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If I don't know what to right do. Section, job well I think we got to go four hybrid. If you don't, it's going to be a difficult two-putt to say the least. A little bit of backspin. Opting for the hybrid, I That's think. That's the shot. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Send it in. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. 13 Momentum footer. Putts come in many shapes and sizes. This one's a 13 footer. Uphill three inches, steady left to right. Well, that's a nice line. We're on fire. Yeah, nice mid-range okay. birdie putt that <laughs> That's one. That's scorecard. Best I think we played. I really do. This has just been consistent golf, incredible and tempo. Top spot on the leaderboard. And we had to, because look at Justin. Two holes to go, Luke. I know 19 who I like. to 17. What a battle this has been. Justin's playing great, but four. we're they playing better right now. Fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From there, the green, it tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on Let's the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. A little D-loft and forward spin. You have a slight cross headwind. Gonna come off to the left on the side hill lie as well. I like the club. Oh, felt Chosen that one. The pitching wage here. Felt that. I just had to say tempo on the last hole, didn't I? Yeah, that one will play. Okay, Henny. What's he looking at with this putt? We got Careful Henny. Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill, and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Won't leave it. Henny, this one's for you. Saying that we're your hero. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Didn't quite judge the speed on that one. Looks just like a pretty straight hit it too firm. Footer to me. Almost a great dedication to Henny. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. It's all right. We can burn you the last hole. We're, we're going to win. Now, current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Not again. Are you kidding me? Justin with the birdie. He, he's going to eagle. What a lovely position to be in. Holding the lead. What a battle. Okay. Good luck. How oh, that that lip out hurts, but we had a couple of lip ins. We can't really complain. We can't get there in two anyways. It, it doesn't matter whether we hit the fairway here or not. Light rough would be nice, though. Still a chance it to all comes down to this. 18th hole, Ryan Gamer 
was down a stroke, came back, has the lead with Justin Lower, who keeps going lower and lower on the scorecard, has a chance to win this tournament. And you know we've seen the AI Eagle multiple times. Wait a second. No shot we go. Not get carried. I wanted to for a second. That would not even make any sense. You all would <laughs> You all would be so mad if I would have went for that. That would be in the water. 100 percent Getting ready to play their third. He we don't know what Justin's done yet. Stroke. We, we don't know what our opponent has done. We'll often backspin. And if this chip drops, he'll win the event. The tournament. One time like you've never won time before. Champion. What a win! A performance on a really tough track. What a victory on the South Golf Course. This player winning the Farmers Insurance Open, surviving the South. That's amazing. Absolutely fantastic. What a putt! You know, cat. You know Jerry Swing Coach and Caddy, Jerry from the EA PGA Tour series. He is still the swing coach here at PGA 2K. But you well, know Rich, he's going to love that, that Texas start, wedge. It's probably a little trophy. surprise that this player powered through to victory. It's very rare where you see a player absolutely dominate a field like they did in this tournament. Unbelievable job all around. Hey, we fought. We battled. Got the Farmers in. We've got the win for the first time at the Farmers Insurance Open. A new trophy in the trophy cabinet. Ryan Gamer comes out on top. What an epic battle that was. Like, these tournaments this season have been so fun. First round, second round, it's been a battle. It's been a blast. They've been stressful. Like, I don't know about you all. My heart rate gets up there. Like, these last three weeks particularly, they've been electric, but they've also been a lot to handle, right? What a battle. That is a tournament win. We got to take a look here at this scorecard. I mean, let's take a look at that. We shot a 12 under. Ryan Gamer gets the win. 12 under, 20 under on the tournament. A 12 under on the final round. Justin plays great. 9 under, 18 under on the tournament. Matt Wallace, 7 under, 14 under on the tournament. Russell Henley, Eric, Keegan, Doug, Tiger Woods there with a win last week. Top 8 this week. Michael Thompson and Heinrich Norlander there make out the top 10. What a tournament that was, though. I mean, I can't believe that. That's a great win. We just never let up. One of the best rounds we've had in this game. We crushed Sanders softly. Like, wow. That, that's how you beat a rival. Let's take a look at the scorecard. Seven under on the front with an eagle. Five under on the back. We parred the first two holes on the back, kicked it into another gear. Three birdies in a row, 12 through 14. Birdied 18th and 18th. Birdied, wait, birdied 16th and 18th. Thank you all for calling in the birdie trains this week. Seven under, then five under, 12 under, just exceptional golf. Wow. Justin Lower moves up 105 spots in the FedEx Cup standings. Matt Wallace moves up 89. Russell Hindley, 38, and Eric Van Ruin, 9. Got to take a look at the event stats. Longest scoring putt was 36 feet, 75 fairways. I will take that any day of the week. You know Doc is fired up about that. 77 greens in regulation, 18 proximity hole, new record for me. Only have gotten below 20 like one time. Never have gotten below 19. 18.7. We were 22.7 round one. We just had 14.7 
proximity to hole. You want to know how you win tournaments? It's this. 83 greens, 14 proximity to hole, incredible putting, birdie conversion of 66. Like, that was just phenomenal golf. Event total, what was our putting? Really good. Really good putting. Scrambling was good. Didn't miss too many greens, though. Birdie conversion of 67. Yeah, that'll win it. Two eagles, 18 birdies, 15 pars. No bogeys, but we had the double. We almost had a perfect tournament. We had one double. I remember that. But thank you all so much for all the one times watching this video to the end and for all the support on the channel. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more, and you can check the full playlist in the description looking for other episodes in the series you can also find other playlists for the right different ryan gamer crew modes across the channel the same athlete across all the sports has been playing football at a high level in madden 24 i highly recommend you check out that series it is a blast but what a tournament that was we move into pebble beach next week for the at&t pebble beach pro elm that's going to be awesome so that will be another two-round tournament likely on tuesday and thursday next week if you're watching these videos the day it goes live and it looks like it's going to be ryan gamer and justin thomas as rivals and then lexi thomas after that in the next tournament ryan gamer sitting atop the fedex cup standing 2000 points lydia ko tiger woods paul and then brooke henderson but i will see you all in next week's tournament in the meantime while you're waiting for the next one check out the u.s open this week Ryan Gamer is playing in the U.S. Open in the EA Sports PGA Tour career mode. If you all want to see an epic tournament, the U.S. Open this week, tune into it. Trust me, it is epic. I believe round two will go live the afternoon that this video goes live. So this video will be going live the Thursday morning. I believe it'll be the Thursday afternoon and that actually goes live. But I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.